Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and today in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to fade out stuff like buttons, labels, text views or any other outlet in your project. So already I have my project set up. I've named it Fade and it's a view based application for the iPhone and what we're going to do first is we're straight away into the Fade View Controller.h and we're placing our, well, our IB action. So simply type in dash bracket capital IB action bracket. And I'll name the button fade. And that red semicolon. Now, if you haven't noticed already, I'm using the new Xcode 4. And some of you might think it's a bit confusing at first, but it's very simple and it's a lot better than previous Xcodes. So now we type in our outlets of what we want to fade out and in this demonstration I'll be showing you a label, a round rack button and a text view. So we start by typing our outlet, so IB outlet, space UI and the first one will be a label, so UI label, space, little asterisk star and I'll name the label simply label so it's easy to understand and that will be a semicolon. Enter and again just repeat yourself. But here we want to add our round rack button in. So we type in UI button space and again star and then the button button and that's semicolon. And again our third one I'll be showing you is our text view. So IB outlet UI text view space star name this again text view and that's semicolon zoom out for you so that's all that should be needed in the dot h simply save that and go straight away into our view controller dot m and then just after that in, um, the implementation here enter a couple of times so it gives you a little bit of space and we'll start writing our code so we start with our action button so bracket IB action bracket fade is what we call the button and then space and then curly bracket press enter and if you haven't noticed already it automatically gives you the end curly bracket which is quite helpful just press enter again to make it a bit more clear and then we start by normal bracket UI view space begin animation here yeah, string and then contact context sorry you simply press enter and it'll go straight away into the first highlighted section and here you want to put nil and then go to our one highlighted void here and we type in capital null bracket and that is semicolon then we press enter again and again bracket UI view space set and we want to find that set animation duration which here in my one it's already highlighted so you just enter and in the highlighted section this will be the time it takes for the image well the buttons and the UI labels and stuff to fade out which I'll just do a simple second so we do 1.0 bracket semicolon and enter and now we're going to want to type in our well, the code in there for the label button and text view, and we simply do that by bracket, and we do the label first, and we name the label label. So, type in label space set alpha, yeah, and in the highlighted section put zero, as we want the transparency to be zero once it's um, faded out. Bracket semicolon, and again. We do the button next, which you name button, space, set alpha, and again, zero, bracket, semicolon. And the last one we I'm showing you today is the text view, space, set alpha, and again, zero, bracket, semicolon, enter. And the final bit of coding we need to do is bracket, Capital UI label, not label, sorry, UI view, 
space, commit animations, bracket, and semicolon, just so it all sets out perfect. And that's all that's needed for the coding. Do you want to pause the video now just so you can catch up? So I'll just zoom out now. We can simply save that. And then go into our fade view controller button. Yep. Now one of the main benefits for Xcode 4, Xcode 4 is you do not have to wait for the view controller to load up. It's simply all there for you. Now if you just go to the top right hand corner here where you got the um, highlighted or well, the grey area section on the right, that would just simply load up all the connections and all your outlets and stuff like that. So first you drag in our round button, I'll simply put it at the top and space it out just to make it a little more smarter. And this will be our fade button, so I'll just name this fade so it's easier to understand. And then we want to add in our label. Our round rec button again, as we're also fading out the um, the bottom, and then we just go for our text view. Let's place that in there, so it's all centered up and it looks quite smart. Okay, now we want to click on our files owner, which is located on the left here, and then in our outlets here, the button will be dragged to the button we're fading out. The label, obviously, to the label. The text view to the text view. And if we just scroll down a little bit, here's our action button, our fade action button. Sim drag that to the fade button. And I'll go for something simple, touch up inside. And that's all that's needed for placing stuff in the new folder. So you can save that. And make sure it's in the um, iPhone simulator. And we can go to run, build and run. Now as this is Xcode 4, again, it's all improved and it doesn't take as long as it did before. And the iPhone simulator loads quite quick as well. So here we are already. So we just wait for it all to, oh, there we go. Quicker than I thought. So once we got it la um, all loaded up here, our label, our round wrap button, and our text view, we just simply press on our fade. And there we go, simply fades out. So that's it for today, and I hope it helps you in your tutorials or any of your projects. Make sure you rate the video, like it, favourite it. Send me a message or leave me a comment if you want to request any tutorials. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you can benefit from our other tutorials. But in the meantime, make sure you follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook to keep up to date. And also there will be a link in the description for our apps which are currently out at the moment. So make sure you go check them out. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all next Tuesday in a tutorial.